Yeah! <laughs> oh, what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. We are, in fact, as you can tell, we got the old green monster behind me. We're at the dairy farm with the bearded man himself. What's up? Did you trim the beard up? No, I started using product. Hold on a minute. Stand back a little bit. It used to be like here. Yeah. Dude. Maybe. Uh, it did. You know, start, form. Oh, so the product has changed the oh, form. Oh yeah. What, well. I've been using this oil stuff, and so when I put it in, I can fluff it up, shape it a little bit better, and ah, it's not quite as everywhere. It's just not blown. Yeah. Huh. Well, guys, like I said, welcome back to another one. We are here, Jordan and I. If you have not checked out Jordan's channel, you need to. A lot of farm stuff going on over there, a lot of backyard farming, a lot of, a lot of about every type of animal <laughs> in the world, but we got both of my local beauties together. The last video, the North Dakota video, y'all were like, Bobby, you did not show the Franke enough. Please do a uh, review video of your new Franke. A lot of you know, long story short, I don't have to retell the story a bunch. A lot of you know that uh, I've always rocked a Franke, and it's been my, my go-to shotgun. And uh, this year, Benelli and Franke, which are essentially the same company, they have reached out and they have provided two beauties absolute beauties right here we have the brand new and i mean brand new super black eagle 3 and then we have the new fronky affinity 3.5 elite now a lot of you i can already tell you are probably going bobby you're like you're a black gun guy yes i am in fact a black gun guy i love black guns but they did not have they i guess they don't make or they didn't have on hand the 3.5 uh, uh, Elite in black. And I was surprised, I'm like, okay. So, we got the Optifade, looking pretty good. What are you thinking about this here deal? What, what, if you had to say, no, we're not gonna do any prejudgments. You gotta wait <laughs> to the end, you gotta wait to the end. How this thing works is, we'll pick a gun, we might play rock, paper, scissors to see who uses what first. We go out, we shoot, I don't know, just enough. You know what I mean, enough. Maybe it's five birds a piece. Uh, we film it, we film our reactions, we talk about the guns the whole time, what we do, what we don't like, we come back, we switch, and then at the end, we go through our basically like, basically this is a hands-on, you guys being with us, Jordan and I, you know how many shotgun shells we shoot, that was kind of tongue twister, <laughs> how much shotgun shells we shoot in 12 months, or even just a month of the hunting season, a bunch, so. I hope that y'all trust our judgment, our better judgment. Bruh, I got Fred on my back. I saw that. Here, let, let me show yeah, that. Look at that bad boy. Mm. Uh-huh. Old Frederick, I had to leave him at home because y'all know he likes to go to the poop pond and I don't want him in there. Jordan's rocking that new performance long sleeve though. Yeah. How are you liking it? Dude, okay, so it's hot out today. Right. And with the breeze though, this thing is perfectly cool. Just like breathing. this thing is going to be my new go-to dove and teal shirt dude Easy. dove and teal because of mosquitoes oh, yeah. too any of the new gear from ducks i will link it all down in the description below as well as that fred shirt y'all have been loving the fred shirt all right all right we both have to throw the old shot cam on the shotgun here i'd say since the affinity jordan's pretty interested in using it it's a brand new gun let's do rock paper scissors okay. who gets to wield the affinity first right on. first one wins right one, two, three, shoot. Ah, oh, right out the gate. All right, we got the old shot cams on, ready to go. One thing I did want to tell you guys, we're both using the exact same ammo today, as well as the exact same chokes in both of these guns, like I've said. And like you all know, oh, look at this. These are all starlings, y'all. Holy smokes, those are not blackbirds. Like you all know, these are both brand new guns. I've dreamed of this day, dude. Look, oh, it feels yeah. good, I'm telling you. It comes up nice. We're gonna have to, we will, like I said, guys, we will be honest in our opinions. Believe you me. Um, here we are, though, the dairy. As y'all know, I don't have to describe it. We've been here enough. Ooh, they might come busting out. Be ready, fellow. Yep. Swing and a miss. Oh. Oh, don't want you. oh, oh, I'll get him! If you guys enjoy these comparison videos, smash a thumbs up button. Swing and a miss for Jordan. 
hit the thumbs up button for us. Come on now, let's get this video. Man, I would be so happy if you guys helped me get over 2,000 likes. Come on now, dove season's almost here, boys. Speaking of dove, you got a sunflower field down the road. Yeah. Oh boy. I'm excited. Oh boy. Oh, Those whoa. Those insanely hard to hit though. Yeah. Well, I just took about a, nah, it was about a 50, 45 yard poke. I got sick of waiting. The first off, two swings, two misses for me. Um, first off, with the, what I can tell you about the SBE3, right off the bat, um, 1100 for the Elite at Cabela's. So that's Cabela's price. That's Cabela's price. Pretty standard. Yeah. Um, so 1100 for that, for, for the Franke Elite. And then this one, I believe, is like two grand. Pretty much. Right at two grand. There's a lot of different options you can get, but standard, 1800 two grand. So you're looking at, I mean, honestly, group of sparrows, you're looking at a anywhere from an $800, $900 difference, somewhere right around there. And right off the bat, what I was getting to um, before I started this price deal, this SB3 has so much time. Get them, get them. Ow! Ow! Oh, all three. Got trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That didn't go well for me. What I can tell you is the Benelli, it's got a lot of time in it. And what I mean by that is a lot of time to fit the human grip. It just feels amazing. Now, I did use the old Franke in North Dakota, and I got to say, I loved it. Uh, that was, hey, we win some, we lose some. I've, I've missed twice. We're not doing too good out I here. I missed three times. <laughs> as the as the uh, professional reviewers out here, yeah. we're not doing hey, so we good. Said review, not shooters. We, right. we can review the crap out of this thing. <laughs> oh, well, it worked for you. Yeah. Oh, but, but the bolt stuck. It's back. it's cycling, but it if I think it needs just a little bit more oil. It's brand new. It, I think it just needs a little bit of oil. Yeah, I think Brad he used it in North Dakota. Or no, sorry, I used it in North Dakota. I shot it four times. Four times. Oh, four times. So. Yeah, starting out with two of these light loads, the yeah. two and three quarter and seven and a half shots. It needs some good oil it in it. Probably a little bit more. It needs some good old uh, G96. Yep. I love my G96. If you all know what I'm talking about, if you know, you know. 18. 15 to 18, Gus a little over 20. Man, I'm leading these. Right there, right there, right there. Oh, he's out there. Oh, did it, did it cycle? Oh yeah, she cycled good. Uh, Man, leading these birds in this wind, they're so small, so sporadic. This is some good practice. That's all I got to say. Dove season's on the way, boys. You far away. Look at that. Hopefully somebody's they're dead. staying way far away. Poke them. Ah. Yeah, I don't think I'm leading them quite enough. Dude, they're, that wind, it's difficult. Okay. Right here. Oh, nice. One of them fall. What happened? You tell me. You trying to take lessons from me? I am using eight shot. Is eight shot and seven and a half shot that much different in this type of wind? You think not. You would think not. Holy smokes, look at this big old group. They're so tall. They're so high. Guess they don't call me Skybuster for nothing. <laughs> well, this is my new spot for the moment. Find a little bit of shade. Oh yeah. It is hot out here. I have not connected yet. Still wielding the SB3. Ah! Well, I know Jordan, he has downed two total so far. I have not downed one yet, and I don't know how many shots I've taken. Today is not my best day of shooting uh, ever, but we're, we're trying, we're sending it, boys. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yo. We are on the board. Yeah. All right. Now that I've actually connected, I feel very, very confident. I know where to place my shot now. Woo Come on, smash a thumbs up button for your boy and the cows. There we go.
we go. Number two down. He uh, went right over to that silo and he went, just clipped him. Two down for Bob. And don't forget to pick up your empties, y'all. And uh, just for keepsake here, if any of you guys are like, hey, y'all are scaring the uh, cows because you're shooting too close to them. Look, they're not scared at all. They're still right here by me, waiting for me to give them some food or something. They got a big boomer out here. One of them boomer propane powered, uh, just boomers to try to keep the starlings away. So all the cattle are already used to the booms. Well, I came in here to find one of my down birds. And as you can see, it's all the way up in there. And I ain't about to go in this poop. I got the old Crocs on, baby. <laughs> I tried. Oh, no. Oh, spoke way too soon. Darn it. Oh, it's all in my toes. Bad move, Bob, bad move. Smoke this bird. I hope I got it on shot cam for y'all. Landed right in the water. Yeah, there he is right there, right there. I can't retrieve any of the birds I'm shooting. Oh, thank goodness. Jordan with the oh, water hook up here. Ooh, that was nasty. That was real bad. All in the toes. All righty, now it's my turn with the new affinity. Oh yeah. So Jordan, you're a big SB2 guy. That's what he owns. That's what he loves. It's actually yep. getting Cerakoted right now. Yes. Uh -huh. It's getting sprayed tomorrow. It should be back by the end of the week. So, you being an SB2 wielder of sorts, yep. what's your first impression of the Franke? It's comfortable. Yeah. Like, it It took me just a second to kind of get settled into it, but it comes up identical. The, the foregrip's a little bit different, but, I mean, it's a very, very comfortable gun. It shoots well. It shoots a whole lot better than I do. But, uh, I mean, I like it. <laughs> We've both been struggling a yeah, little bit. That's definitely, nicely. definitely. Um, I will say right off the bat before I get to shooting it, this is going to be the most I've shot it yet. And uh, there are two guns that I believe if you have, if, if you want a gun, let's say you, there's three levels of guns. Let's put it this way. There's the $500 gun, there's the $1,000 gun, and then there's the $2,000 gun. Oh, I, but then there's that... Well, and then there's the four thousand dollar gun, but we're not gonna get to that. What I'm saying, either either or, whatever you can afford, you're gonna be extremely happy with. I can guarantee it. We oh boy howdy! All right, we're just gonna have to oh get ready, dude. This is wild. The next low ones. Let's both just. Okay. All right, Jordan and I were out here. Um, a lot of starlings are coming back to the dairy. Hopefully we'll get some good shooting in. I have the Franke. Jordan's got the SBE3. How does it feel in your hands already? Natural. I know. I gotta admit that the SB3 is, that is one gun. Yes, yes, it's not the cheapest, but it's one gun. When you shoot it one time, you'll wanna shoot it five times. It just feels right. And if you've never shot a Franke, uh, and let's say you had maybe a cheaper gun, the first time you shoot one of these, same thing. Beautiful gun. This is a good flight right here. Real good flight. Oh yeah. Oh goodness. Man, it felt good. First shot, swing miss, but it felt really nice. Not gonna lie. Oh, they're all up. Look at this dude. Oh my lord. Well, first bird down. Uh, me and Jordan definitely tag team that one. But Frankie's feeling nice. Feels like I'm at home, honestly. The SB3 feels so good, it's almost a little different for me. This affinity feels it. Oh, 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 you got him! Nice, dude! Oh! <laughs> well, we're on him now, there's a lot of starlings flying. But, Franke Benelli, like I said, uh, we'll, we'll get a final opinion after we go spraying about 20-25 rounds a piece here. Uh, but I can tell you, 
whatever your budget is, whether it's a thousand bucks or two thousand bucks, either way, you're gonna be happy. Ooh, come on. Man, that's a poke. Did you shoot? Yeah. We both shot at the same oh, I time. Didn't even know you <laughs> <laughs> I knew we were gonna shoot at the same time. Well, that's good. We didn't. Well, we both missed. We both missed, both yeah. Oh, I love these guns. If I had to prefer anything, guys, come on now. I would probably, uh, I would, I, Jordan said it perfectly earlier. He said, if you want to buy a gun, um, what, how did you put it? It's buy, a tool. It's a tool. It's a tool. Buy the best you can afford. Yes. It easy it's a stuff. tool. Buy the best you can afford. Just like a car mechanic, an automobile mechanic out there, a tractor mechanic. You know, a lot of people buy Mac or Snap-on because they want something good. Nope. <laughs> a little too far, eh? A little bit. Oh, shoot up. Yeah! <laughs> we both shot. That was awesome. Tag team and special, baby. Absolutely. That's the way we can get these uh, 60 yarders down. <laughs> oh. oh, we just got out of the truck. Man, it got up to about 90, 92 degrees. It got hot. The Starling stopped flying. Uh, since we switched guns, I think we shot two birds total and we both kind of tag teamed them. Yeah, and we were like, we started sweating too much, and I'm like, dude, let's just go get in the AC for a little bit. Well, that and the birds left. They're there done. was about 20 minutes where we stood out there. We we wanted to get a bunch of shots in. We were going to shoot another box, right? And they just didn't come back. So on to what y'all have been waiting for. What's our two cents on these two guns? Again, price difference: two thousand bucks, a thousand bucks. Let's just keep it pretty general. I would say it's the same story. I'm going to go first here. Sorry, Who sorry. No. I'm going to say that it's the same thing I've always stick, stuck to when I first compared my original Franke, just the uh, Affinity 3-inch chamber, to the SB3. And that is, the SB3, in my eyes, has so much time, money, technology put forth to not only the gun functioning right, but it feeling really, 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 really good. I would say functionality... SB3, I have never, it, it doesn't matter if it was out of the box or anything, it never jammed, it never, it never, nothing. Uh, Franke, um, I think it just needs a little bit of G96, kind of like the Rite, not near as bad. But I will tell you the Franke, in my eyes, I am super comfortable with that gun already. It feels like my old gun. So, I love the SB3 and the Franke. I'll just, for me, all season, I'm just going to switch them back and forth. What's, um, what's your take? My take. Uh, the Benelli. I'll start with the Benelli because it feels like my SB2. It's a comfortable gun. I'm familiar with it. It just automatically, it fit. It worked. And other than my little reaching shots, I mean, the gun, the gun is awesome. It, it's a piece of technology. It's an awesome tool. The, the Franke, it feels a little bit foreign. I struggled a lot at first, a lot. Uh, but once I just sort of got used to it, there's nothing wrong with that gun. It's awesome. If I had... If I was upgrading from my old 870 like I did, I would buy the Franke first. Simply because I spent about half the money and it shoots just as good as the Benelli, not quite as comfortable, but I'd save that extra grand and put it towards, you know, something else. But they're both awesome guns. Exactly. And back to what he stated a while back in the video, guys, shotguns, uh, now, 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 today in my life, I can say that I have a, a bunch of them. And so, each of them are still a tool, but now I'm kind of like, I use them as a hobbyist. You know that you know what I mean? It's like, before I had all these other shotguns, I just had the Franke, and that was my tool. And that was what I could afford when I bought it. So, to, going back to what he said, buy what you can afford, but as high end as you can afford, you will thank yourself later. But guys, get what you can afford. Uh, I would say if you if you have a thousand bucks, buy a Franke. If you have two thousand bucks, buy an SB3. You're not gonna go wrong. Again, like I said before, all the new ducks, the Fred shirt, the new hat, and the new performance long sleeve. Do it. I love this shirt. You loving it? It's a dude. I'll wear this thing all the time. I love this thing. I might get another one. <laughs> <laughs> you might get another one. I'll link it all down in the description below. Subscribe if you haven't. Subscribe to Jordan's channel if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell down there because it'll notify you when I upload the seasons here. Dove hunting will be coming in literally just a couple days. Be expecting dove opener. But 
Until next time. <laughs>